said, eat your breakfast before you come, my love, and bring a little dinner in your hand. Bring a little corn to feed the old horse and leave before supper if you can. Oh, come and see me when you can. Oh, come and see me when you can. So one more big push day to get fences done. We're getting a Jersey cow and she's due coming up here in June, very soon. And we need to get her here um, before we're real close to her calving. So a friend is coming over today. I've been splitting rails out here. I'm gonna build a bunch of H braces and hopefully pull some fencing so we can get the cow out here and have a safe place to keep her. I went looking this morning for a drill bit to drill holes in the fence posts to make cage bracing, but I remembered the baby. I saw the baby with it the other day, and I thought he'd put it back in my work bin, but apparently he hadn't. So Brianna has kindly agreed to go to the store with all four children, with all the kids, and grab me a spade bit so I can keep working this morning and be ready for our friend to come. I'm back out in the pasture. I've got to get all these split rails. These are the top pieces of our H bracing spread all the way around the edge where they go and then I'll cut them to length next. I'm trying to do this in a systematic fashion because I've got a lot to get done, so I'm just doing one task at a time everywhere, kind of assembly line style. So right now I'm just going to mark all my posts at the height of the top brace and then mark and cut my top brace. bracing now I'm gonna show you not tell you how we're doing this so now we're putting a diagonal wire from the base of one post to another and this is actually what makes the system work. And we're using a wire twisted around itself on the ends and what I think they call a twitch stick. This is the simplest and cheapest way to do this without buying any metal hardware or special joiners. All right, so let me show you how this works. This is a gate right over here. The fence is actually gonna be pulling this way 
and without any bracing system, this post with the tension of the fence would lean into the fence. So this wire attached to the bottom of the gate post keeps this post from going out, and then your top horizontal keeps the gate post itself from leaning. One of the good things is, you know, if you got a soft area, because it's got so many and of course, whenever you have help, you feed them well. And we have ice cream and ice cream cones coming. It's pretty good. Everyone's enjoying the food and working hard. In order to pull these runs of woven wire, we first attach one end by wrapping the wires back around themselves like that. And then we're going to pull this whole run right here. This is probably the simplest setup that I've seen for attaching the end of fencing. It's just two pieces of two by fours and two metal C-clamps. And the really neat thing is we're using my generous friend Skid Steer to pull these runs and it makes it really, really fast. And then while the end of the fence is still under tension, you just cut every other wire, wrap those wires around the fence post, and by the time you cut the top and the bottom, the last two wires, the whole section of fence is held in tension. But I'm gonna turn the camera off and just work. I can't really show you what we did. I'm out here under the street lamp now because it's dark. But we pulled a lot of wire. We're so thankful to our friends with the skid steer for their help. And that was a great day on the homestead. We've got a little plan for how we're gonna fence the pasture so we can get the cow now, but not compromise on quality of the fence. And I'm excited about it. Y'all have a great night.